let me show you how we can select the subject of the photo with just one click. Keep in mind, this new feature was just added, so be sure your Affinity Photo is updated to version 2.6 or higher. Then click Select at the top and then Select Subject. Be sure your layer with the image is selected. It may take a moment and as you can see we got the result of the selection. You don't need to take it, you can add some small fixes. In my case they select the lady here without the backpack. So now if you want to fix that a bit, select any selection tool from the tool list here on the left. So I will click on the lasso tool, so I got option to refine my selection. Click the refine button and everything that will be deselected is red and the selection is in full color. Feel free to zoom in with the navigator or command plus. And then you can use the foreground and background pointers to mark what is the selection. That's the foreground. For example, this part should be the selection. This backpack should be selected. Okay, so I can point what's supposed to be a proper selection and other way around too. The backdrop can be used to show what should not be selected, like this area here between her legs. If the brush is a bit too big, you can use the square brackets on your keyboard to make it really tiny. All right. So with that, you can refine your initial AI selection to be even more precise. If you got easy picture, something on the white backdrop, that will be not necessary. You can easily just take that initial selection without a refinement step. All right, and then we need to decide what kind of output do we need in the output section. So we can have a mask, a new layer, a new layer with the mask. And the third option is the recommended one. And here it is, we got the auto select of the subject. And this way we can mask out the backdrop, but of course we can always undo and just play with the initial selection using other selection tools. So we can also use now the quick selection tool to use the add mode and actually add to that initial selection and do other operations based on the selection. All right, so once more, let me deselect. To use the subject select, you must click on the layer of the image and then select at the top and subject select. If it's not ideal, you can use other selection tools to enhance that. And if, if you want to use that for masking part of the image, use the refine button to do just that. I hope this was helpful. See you in the next tutorial.